All right, here we are in a beautiful Lake Havasu City morning, having too much fun out here in the park, looking at a 1932 Ford two-door sedan, Model B standard two-door sedan. Really neat little car. We know this car really well. Uh, about three years in a row, I've personally driven it to the Deuce days. It's a rock-solid original Survivor with 30,000 actual miles. We're going to walk around and tell you what we know as we go around. This particular gentleman keeps them, uh, he's got several 32 Fords and it's more like a museum here in Lake Havasu City. It's a neat little car, all original in stock format, believed to have been refinished probably in the 1940s at one time. He knows the history on the car. We're going to have a full write-up at spudsgarage.com with what he knows about the car, that type of thing. I'm rushing just a little bit because I may get run over by a car or something like that. That's kind of why I'm zippy doing along here and I'll try and slow it down some when I get to the other side. All original body on this car. Just It's got tons of original patina and character style. Like I said, it's probably been refinished once. It has the original roof material in it that was, I believe, refinished along with the paint job at one time. All original Model B four-cylinder, 200.5 cubic inch, 50 horsepower underneath the hood. Factory original engine and transmission. Original interior. All original running boards here. We're going to share the running boards with you. They produced about, I'm looking, I have a little bit of a cheat sheet in my hand. I'm not, uh, I can't carry all this stuff around in my brain all the time. So I did a little research here. They produced about 148,000 the, the two-door sedans in 1932, and only about 37,000 of those were uh, standard Model B sedans. Model B was quite the changeover from the Model A. The engine was uh, a little bit bigger, had better oiling system, less vibration, and it was kind of a good model year changeover. The Deuce obviously is iconic in history and uh, this car is about 86 years old and is absolutely amazing. You can see the uh, cars that survive like this are just, you know, you just look at them in awe. Uh, you're going to find character flaws throughout the paint, so, but uh, the original discoloration of the headlight lenses here, you kind of get a feel for the age and the beauty and it just kind of comes at you. Bodies whistle straight, the doors shut, absolutely awesome. Again, we're going to have a story at Spud's Garage, uh, or what we know about the car and its history. We'll actually get it up on the lift at Spud's Garage here a little bit later on today, and the full video will be covered here, so you'll get the undercarriage. We took still photos out here during the photo shoot. Early in the morning here, too much fun. This car is a gas to drive. It's not fast, it's not a race car, um, but it will get out on the road and go and the brakes and the steering act like a 30,000 mile car. They are mechanical brakes on a 32. They weren't quite up to speed with the other manufacturers. Henry liked his cars and built them that way and produced a lot of them. All original interior, we get inside here, a lot of fun. Open the door here, I'm gonna we're on a little bit of a hill, so I'm going to have John hold the door a little bit for me so I can kind of give you a feel of the interior. You'll see those are original door panels on it. All original interior seating, original jump seats. The carpet in the rear here. Might as well cover the running boards here while we're at it. Somebody going by with a loud Crown Vic. Dash here. We'll get over to the driver's side and show you how it looks and all that kind of thing from a better view. The steering wheel is an all original steering wheel, original to the car, that's not cracked or anything like that. car that was driven a lot to get cracks in it has the original firewall pad up here. This mat's probably been replaced, the rubber mat, but the rear is the uh, original carpet here. Kind of get a feel there. So yeah, it's not perfect, it's not new, it's just really fun. Even the original dome light, we're going to turn it on right here, works like it's supposed to. Turn it off. All the windows roll up and down like they're supposed to. You'll see the brads that go into the wood structure of the car. The seat bottom here, I don't think you can even get this stuff reproduction here. This, uh, the way the uh, seat bottom is, that panel there, just neat. 
headliner. We'll go over to the other side and share more with you. I'm gonna go ahead and let me shut that, John. This thing just shuts so easy. In fact, you won't even need to shut it that hard, just with your thumb. All original door handles, again, it's been painted once. It's a real cutie. You know, you pay pretty good money just to find a body on a trailer for one of these, and to find a good original one like this, a good honest survivor, a true survivor, is like trying to find a needle in a haystack. You hear, often hear me say, it's a good old girl. This is really a good old girl. Original fenders, that right front fenders had a little bit of repair at one time. All the fenders are original. You can see it's a little bit bumpy right through here. Don't know if you can see it, and there's a small repair, repair on this lip right here. I just kind of remember things as I go around, so pardon me for backtracking there. Has a very rare Continental kit in the back. These particular cars often lost their uh, rear spare tire covers, so to speak, on a Continental kit because uh, they changed the tire sizes in 33 and and uh, up one size and it caused some issues where that tire cover wouldn't fit anymore so guys would put it in the uh, garage and then ended up scrap metal around the war time. Has a rare factory Ford spare tire lock here and of course the rare spare tire cover. The spare tire cover was a little bit too much age and patina so he had the, orig the original replated here. Original dual lamp, tail light assembly over here, one tail lamp. Starting to get busy here in the park, so we're going to try and cover as much as we can as we go around here. The back side of these fenders are just beautiful. The body on this car is rock solid top to bottom. Again, we're going to get it up on a lift for you. It's what you would expect, 30,000 mile car. Even has a rare, super rare super rare when I mean that it's still in here. The rear window shade is all factory and it's still in here. A lot of those were taken out and discarded. Monday morning here in the park they're doing some construction over here and starting to do some landscaping. Hopefully we'll get this video done. Again original running boards. I don't know when the last time you've seen original door jams and trim like this original upholstery, but this is uh, original factory materials in the car that's really survived the test of time very nicely. It's the kind of car where you really would hate to alter it in any way, but if you were looking for a great car to do a street rod project, this would be a honey of a body to do it with, but you'd almost hate to do it. 30,000 actual miles on it. Everything works. Horn works. Starts up. This is a pull cable for the starter down here. Of course, it's got the original column lock and the original steering wheel. We'll give you a peek up underneath the dash. Again, all factory. That firewall pad's all factory. A little bit of a wear hole right here. Little wear, entry wear. It's cool. It's got great character. Up here, this is an original 1932 uh, Ford year. It's obviously they made the transition to the V8, so you can get a four and an eight. And uh, this is you can see the V8 there and the four there. So it's the year they only they, the first year that they offered the V8. Factory visors. It's got the original uh, thermometer, engine thermometer. I didn't cover the mirror while I was up there. That's an original Ford clock mirror wind-up. I'm going to try to get it to an angle so you can see the light. Here's the wind-up function right there. Throttle, choke over here. 30,781 at the time of inspection. Lucky 77 on the trip miles while I'm sitting here. Pull the e-brake on, turn it on, <laughs> fires right up like it has every time I've started it, amp meter's working, again the throttle here.
<laughs> anyway, there you go. Go to spudsgarage.com. I'm going to shut this door for you to get a feel. Hang on to the end of the video. I'm going to shut it one more time, but do it with just less pressure. Have a great day. Go to spudsgarage.com. Could be driving to your garage. All right, let's get underneath the hood here on the passenger side. We started over here because there's a little bit more to talk about. Fun car, this thing just purrs like a kitten. Uh, Model B engine was the first year of the Model B engine. You know, the Model A was the prior, obviously. Um, it's a 200.5 cubic inch four cylinder. It's uh, about rated about 50 horsepower. They're a neat little car, they run good. It's not a race car, but it's a cool car. It's fun to drive, and as I mentioned during the walk around, I uh, spent quite a bit of time driving this little car to and from deuce days for the gentleman. But anyway, it's all stock in its original for format. It's the original engine and transmission. The transmission has the correct uh, body number uh, VIN on it, or frame number VIN on the transmission. The engines, they didn't put it on there. Really neat over here on the driver's side when you really look at one of these. The uh, Model B engine actually did a lot of improvements over the Model A. They, they had wider bearing surfaces and they weren't the splash oil delivery like they were in the prior years and pretty much uh, a full oiling system that made these things a lot more durable, a lot smoother and a little better horsepower. Updraft uh, carburetor here, I believe that's a Zenith carburetor on these and it's got, these are pretty rare and hard to find, it's the air silencer for the air filter basically is what it is, but it silenced uh, the noise you'd hear of the intake as you uh, accelerated heavily. Anyway, uh, it's also the first year that the fuel tank was moved to the rear of the car and it has a mechanical fuel pump now versus on a Model A it would have been gravity fed. The Model A's had a lot of vibration that you could feel in the car and uh, they came out with this in 1932 which is uh, basically an engine dampener. It takes a lot of the vibration out of the engine. Really neat. They're, uh, I don't know if I, I just mentioned the drip pans or not. My memory's getting a little old short term there. So it's got original drip pans that are hard to find. You'll see it's got the anti-chatter bars down here. The water pump's been gone through. It's been nicely detailed. Very neat underneath the hood. We'll go over to the driver's side now and cover a little bit more. Thanks for listening to me. All right, getting over here on the driver's side. Uh, too much fun. This thing just purrs like a kitten. We're actually gonna fire it up here for you. We wanted to cover this side for you. The original six volt generator on it. We covered a lot over on the other side. The starter's a, a rebuilt starter in it. It looks great. Everything starts like it's supposed to and it cranks right up. Just a little pull of the start knob, a little bit of pull of choke, and then the start knob and it fires right up with the original key. Splash pan, notice the splash pan is over here on this side. Usually those were just discarded and ended up in a scrap yard. Guys took them off when they worked on them. Just like the other side. We're gonna go ahead and fire it up so you hear it run here. And I'm gonna All right, as promised, we get this up on the left for you. Man, this is definitely something you don't see every day. 86 years old and still stock underside. Anyway, we're gonna walk up and uh, cover the undercarriage here for you. Thanks for hanging around to the end of the video. These are original Vanadian bumpers, by the way, which are stronger. You can hear them ting when you hit them. All original underside, original panels, fuel tank, this has virtually never been a part with 30,000 miles on it. The gentleman's went through and lubed all the axles and went through all the fluids on it and adjusted the brakes by the book, so to speak. Bottom side of the fenders. You kind of get a feel of the wheel well here in the back, original shocks. This car actually belongs in a museum and it was in a museum at one time. 30,000 miles make a nice little retro rod if you wanted but you almost hate to change anything on this car model B floor pans are just beautiful original floor pans nobody's undercoated them or tried to hide anything original wood structure from Henry Ford is here you can see the plywood the wood structure 
believe that's an original muffler Henry muffler on it he's got all the braking mechanisms he's went through all the uh, clevis pins here put new cotter pins on it made sure all the brake adjustments are right and again he did that by the book six volt uh, charging system six volt battery at the bottom access is from the panel at the top bottom side of the fenders here again this is not a restored car this is a neat little piece of iron <clears throat> these have interesting uh, they, these are the brake rods mechanical brake rods they have these spring clips here that I believe make prevent the uh, rods from flexing too far out if you really had to jam on them brakes on this I've driven it to the show like I talked about two three times over the years here to do phase and uh, stops just beautifully really nothing wrong with mechanical brakes you don't have to worry about fluids that's for sure I'm gonna slide this uh, jack forward or backward excuse me Share the undercarriage up front here, <clears throat> bottom side of the grill shell, bottom side of the fenders here, front apron. Again, he's lubed everything, got it right. We're thinking by now you get the idea. Definitely go to spudsgarage.com. Thanks for listening to me. Slide this back, give you one more view of those beautiful floor pans on this car. Anyway, have a great day. Go to spudsgarage.com. Thought I'd give you an end clip here coming out of Spud's Garage. <laughs>